what the set is, is like one of those sort of islands on an old map where nobody knew what was there. But, you know, before they discovered America, there was a hell of a lot of empty space out there. And, and very often in old maps, people would draw on a, a mysterious island with dragons or serpents or kind of weird animals come because it was, they didn't know what was there, so they made something up. what's important, I think, is what I call creative misunderstanding between a director and a designer. You know, I say I want a teacup, you know, he comes up with a flower vase, the flower vase turns into a motor car. If you get exactly what you ask for, that's quite disappointing, really. things that you have to do, technically speaking, on the Zebuna is create proportion. There is nothing to, against which you can measure. And so one of the things that these three dogs do is that they create the proportion of the stage. I remember saying to the designer, um, it's something to do with animals in the water. I mean, there are, anyway, sort of birds and animals and things in the magic flute. And of course, it has this fairy tale or sort of fantasy aspect. three dogs, they're also kind of mythical guardians like Cerberus. Um, everything in the Magic Flute anyway is in threes always. You know, it starts with three chords and it has three boys and three ladies and three gates, so it had to have three dogs, obviously.
advantage of the time that I have sitting in this chair. It's an opportunity to mentally and um, attitude-wise prepare for the energy of performing in front of 7,000 people. The costume is actually a, a luxury. I think a lot of people would, would agree that uh, the costume is a way of stepping outside of yourself. When you're working with more than one person like this, this is not like a painter you know, who stands there and works on his own for months on end. This is a very much a kind of conversational process. Each person is adding a, a layer of, of creativity uh, rather than simply following an instruction. Schlange zum Opfer erkunden, man hört sie. 